G'day. This is a short clip taken from Monday Night Live. What was your best find? Now, when we do best find, what's mm. your most memorable? It's not necessarily the biggest nugget, the yeah. biggest, it's with a memorable. Yeah, okay. It's what we're looking for. Um, the most memorable find, and it's still, I can actually, I've got a visual image of it in my head. Um, I was, I'll even tell you the town, I was in Kawarrel, right yep. near home. Yep. Oh, gold town up at central Queensland. It's kind of in between Rockhampton and Yapoon, for those that don't know. Um, there's a big bit of land up there, and, and the boys and I, from the local boys, we've been caning it for a while. Um, got a lot of good stuff yeah, out there yeah. too, but um, snuck up there. I'm pretty sure it was like a Saturday morning, maybe 6 o'clock. Um, snuck through the bush, very build-up stuff, and out come three 1800s thrippances, one beside the other. Oh. Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you kind of check the date and you have a little stoke over them. And, yep. And, mate, as I pick the coins up, and I'm still crouched down at this stage with a detector on the ground, check the dates, didn't have my glasses on, so that was a wasted exercise, into the fines bag. As I picked my detector up, bit, got a signal. Yeah. But hang on a minute. What it was, was a shield, and I don't have a photo of a shield, with a soccer player engraved on it, yeah. made out of gold. And it come out of the ground, it was actually the first thing made of gold I'd ever found. Yeah. And what got me was that this thing come out of the ground, like at one rub with the thumb, and it looked like the bloke at the shop sold it to me then. Oh really? Absolutely I think smacked we, me. I think we need a photo of that. It was a pretty stage. nice little thing, and anyway, I can't find it, I don't know where it's from, I've yeah. had the jewel of scratch tested, it passes, it drops out at about 15 carat. Yep. <coughs> In my mind, <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that it was made from gold and copper and silver that was found at Kawarrel. Well, it's quite possible. They found a lot of stuff there. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't they smelt it and some of the local jewels? Oh. I mean, I can't imagine them sending the gold to Melbourne and then buying it back. No. In those no. days, you know, now we'd do silly stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, so I like to think it's got pride of place in my finds cabinet at home, and I, I, I honestly, that the nice thing I like about it, it's very local. Yep. And I like to think that there's a fair chance it's made out of local produce. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's very cool. That, I think that's, that's still my most memorable find. I've found things that I suppose would be considered more valuable in a dollar value. Yeah. But as far as you know, what really yeah. sticks, that was a, just a really cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see the full show, make sure you tune in on Facebook every Monday night.